the Bible. Right here, I got one. It's the Word of God. It is God's Word for His people, and it is spoken to us, and I believe preserved here in this Bible that I have here in my language. I believe it is the perfect Word of God. I don't have to guess at what God said. I don't have to use this as a tool to understand maybe the thoughts of what God maybe was trying to convey. I can have His exact words right here. And if you don't believe that, then you are a theological liberal. That is for certain. And many people have debated that for centuries. But what do we do when people try to retranslate the Bible rather than taking the Bible and letting the Bible say what it says to me and me conforming to what the Bible says? How about, how about I have an idea and I change, I change the Word of God and the Word of God has to conform to me rather than me conforming to the Word of God? You'd say that wouldn't, nobody would ever do anything like that. Oh boy, you'd be surprised. I fear much of this Bible translation industry, by the way, it's not ministry, it's industry, is nothing more than just man's attempt to change God into an image that he wants him to be like, rather than letting God change you into the image he wants you to be like. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Um, there's an interesting story that I want to get to uh, about communist China, and they are changing the Bible into more of a communistic slant. This is a wild story, and I'm just uh, trying to go through it and look at it. Uh, but there's a story here in the book of Jeremiah about uh, Jeremiah wrote a scroll in Jeremiah 36, and he uh, put it out there for everybody to repent before God and get right with the Lord. And um, they sent this scroll to the king, and the Bible says, Jeremiah 36, uh, 22, when the king sat in the winter house in the ninth month, there was a fire on the hearth burning for him. And it came to pass that when Je Jehudi had read three or four leaves, he cut it with the pen knife and cast it into the fire that was on the hearth until all the roll was consumed in the fire that was on the hearth. And uh, yet <laughs> they were not afraid, nor rent their garments, neither the king nor any of his servants that heard all these words. So Jeremiah is, is, is called by God to write a message, and the, those, that message was the words of God. Uh, God he, somebody spoke it, somebody wrote it down, and that was, that was how, that's how you know, inspiration worked. And, uh, and I want to tell you that that's, that's just how it always has worked. And so they gave the word of God, but this king took a pen knife and just started cutting up the Bible, started throwing it in the hearth. And, and the funny thing is, is he did that with like literally no fear of God in his, in his soul. And uh, I, I'm afraid that many people today are doing the exact same thing with the word of God and have no fear of God at all. This is scary business. Now, CBN News is reporting communist China is reportedly rewriting the Bible and calling Jesus a sinner. But that's not all. The Chinese Communist Party, China's ruling regime, has been on a mission to rewrite the Bible through a communist lens. This quest has reportedly resulted in shocking distortions of Scripture and gospel truth. Tom Nettleton, the spokesman for the Voice of the Martyrs, a persecuting watchdog serving Christians across the globe, told Faithwire about the Chinese government's ongoing efforts to reimagine the Bible. This is a project that the Chinese Communist Party announced in 2019. At the time, they said it would be about a 10-year process to release a new translation of the Bible. He said, noting it would include Confucianism, uh, Confucian and Buddhist principles, among others. This new translation would really support the Communist Party. And um, uh, let's see, Nettleton explains all this. Uh, Voice of the Martyrs recently shared a reimagined version of the Bible's revered story centered on Jesus' love and corrective compassion for a woman caught in adultery. The Chinese Communist Party announced plans to update the Bible to keep pace with the times. Does, it, does any of this sound familiar to you guys? It sounds very familiar to me. Uh, hello, Stephen Furtick. The revisions will include adding core socialist values and removing passages that do not reflect communist beliefs. A Voice of the Martyr Facebook post said, In a text for high school students released in September 2020, the author included a passage of John 8 as revised in their new version. Um, let's see here. Before we explore the revised communist version, let's look at John 8. And the famous forgiveness story, the, te uh, the woman caught in adultery before them and challenged Jesus, proclaiming, Teacher, this woman caught in an act of adultery in the law. Moses commanded us to stone such a woman. What do you say? The Bible notes that the Jewish leaders were using this question as a trap to accuse Jesus. Still, Christ answered on the ground, uh, writing with his finger and his mystery with his writing, and they uttered some transformational words. Verse 7, Let any of you who is without sin cast the first stone at her. After the people, clearly shaken by Jesus' words, walked away. Um, and, uh, and the woman were left there sin together in exchange, went as follows. In the NIV, 
uh, Christ says to the woman, where are they? No one has, has no one condemned you. And the woman says, no one, sir, neither do I condemn you. Go now and leave your life of sin. The Communist Chinese Party, though, reportedly had a different vision for this interaction unfolded. The anti-biblical faux account of the of flies in the face of scriptural truth. And the Chinese government, new versions purportedly observed in the textbook. Uh, the crowd dispersed, but then the text says, When everyone out, Jesus stoned the woman himself and said, I am also a sinner. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> what a joke. Jesus stoned the woman himself. <laughs> oh this is so bad oh my goodness that this is horrible what are you commies doing everybody knows that's not what the bible says oh my goodness um and uh and i mean this is voice of the martyrs oh my I, <laughs> what a joke man jesus stoned the woman himself it, I mean that that's laughable, and uh, so th there's just and I, there's so much here, guys. You could go check the uh, the article more if you want to. But truth be told, there are so many people doing this with the Word of God these days and uh, rewriting the Bible to suit their own theological views. Uh, and and there's I, I you know. I, I'm listen. I'm of the persuasion the Bible's right and I'm wrong. I mean, we even have that on the wall over here for those of you who watch our live streams. The Bible is right and you are wrong, and you do not get to change the Word of God to suit your own needs. I mean, Jesus stoning that woman. I mean, what? <laughs> what a joke, man. Uh, but these people are being deceived. Matter of fact, if you don't realize this, in China, you actually, as a preacher, you are only allowed to use the approved version of the Bible that the Chinese government allows you to have. And there are cameras in your services. And uh, and you have to, you absolutely have to let the, uh, the, the government see your sermon every week. And most preachers in China have to submit their, ser their sermons to the local government to, to be approved before they can even preach them. The Chinese government is a complete, total communist dictator nightmare. Uh, and that's why they're good friends with North Korea. But when they start taking this authority and start uh, usurping this authority upon the Bible, that's dangerous, dangerous territory, friend. And uh, my goodness, when you start saying stuff like that, Jesus stoned the woman. Lord have mercy. How, how much dumber can it be? But truth be told, before we get too hard on the commies, we got to realize there's a lot of people in the English-speaking world with these all these new Bibles coming out every, literally every five seconds. I don't know how many times, how many different ways you guys can translate John three sixteen from a Greek text, and it still and it'd be completely different every time. How does that even work? I mean, really, something's not right here. Something's fishy going on. And I'm crying foul. Just like the music industry is a fraud, I'm going to tell you much of this new Bible industry is a fraud too. And, uh, yeah, if you don't think that's possible, then you're obviously not paying attention. Hey, guys, if there's a red subscribe button below, that means you're not subscribed to this channel. Go ahead and hit the like button on this video and subscribe to this channel, please, if you will. We've got a lot more videos. I have so many videos here I want to try to do. It's insane. I've got so much stuff that I'm going to try to take on, and uh, it's going to be great. We're going to try to give you our views on all that, and uh, I appreciate that very much. So you guys have a great day, and uh, don't forget that doctrine matters, and we will see you guys very, very soon.